Hi nerds, hi Yubis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a nerdy the YouTube channel. Today we are doing a respawn your spine flow. So great for anyone who has a spine inspired by gamers because if you are gaming a lot, probably sitting down, probably doing some of the slouching. So this is going to be just a quick flow with a couple of stretches and strengthening um, exercises to help counteract kind of the, the movement of sitting and slouching for long periods of time and to help restore some of the openness um, from just having healthy spine, but also openness in your chest and hopefully realigning some good posture. So definitely a great flow. So let's just jump right into it. We'll start with some cat cow with cactus arms or goddess arms. So a little bit different variation. So you're gonna start with your arms bent 90 degrees. So just as many arching your spine as you inhale and then as you exhale, you're gonna round out your spine and bring your arms forward. Now you may be thinking, I thought we're trying to counteract this slouching motion, but what we're trying to do here is stretch out the upper back. So you're not pressing out your low back, you're lifting in and up, really engaging your core so that you're not hurting your low back as you exhale and stretching your upper back to help release tension that can build in those muscles. So inhale, exhale, inhale. You can really think about lifting in and up as you're doing this stretch. It's not necessarily about, we're not rounding our low back. As you're doing this, start thinking about activating your mula bandha breath. So inhaling, think about filling a bowl with air, like at the base of your low belly. You inhale in all directions, filling the bowl, and you exhale, you squeeze all of the air in and up, exhaling through your nose. It's like squeezing toothpaste out of a tube, squeeze from the bottom, you squeeze it all the way out. One last time here. Awesome, now we're gonna take that a little bit deeper. So from here, come onto hands and knees. Think about having strong fingertips, strong palms. Hands are, are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. Creating a table position here. You can extend your spine long, really pressing out through the crown of your head. Now we'll start doing that cat cow in this position, getting a little bit deeper stretch. So inhale, really bend the elbows and arch your spine. Exhale, round it up. Inhale here. We wanna work on getting movement in our whole spine. And of course our spine moves multiple ways. So from here, you can start moving from side to side. And we've done the cat cow a lot, but we can start adding a little bit extra motion, moving towards the sides here. Start doing some circles. I like to call it Yogi's Choice kind of dance movement here. Just find any areas of tension and stress and move how, how you want. You can move forward and back feeling the stretch all along your spine. And get creative with it. The whole point of this is to find areas of tension and get rid of them. And of course, everybody is different, so your areas of tension are gonna be different than everyone else's. And after that yogi's choice moment coming back, to the hands and knees table position. Just pausing here for a moment, reactivating that mula bandha breath if you kind of forgot about it during your little dance. And just notice how your spine is feeling already from that just tiny bit of movement. Now from here we'll start adding a bit of a strengthening exercise. Now you can do this with hands staying on the ground or you can lift your arm. First thing you're gonna do though is lift your back leg, really press out through your heel, 
long spine, and then if you want, right arm can lift, or again, you can keep the hands on the ground. You really want to lift in and up through your belly. We're going to lift the leg and arm up, up. Pulse it. Last one here, exhale, bring knee and elbow together and then gently back onto the earth. Inhale, wave your spine long again and take that on the other side. So right leg, even extend it out first and lift it up, finding that stretch and strength. Left arm can lift if you want or keep both hands on the, on the ground, depending on how much of a balance challenge you want from here. And then think about pulsing up. Even pulse your breath to match. And exhale. Bring knee and elbow together. And then back to the mat. They can do some more cat cow. Stretch that out. And from here, you can always hit pause and take that challenge again if you want. We're going to keep moving with our stretching. We're going to move the spine in another way. So from here, I want you to inhale, left arm extends towards the sky. So now we're doing a twisting motion. And exhale, thread your left arm underneath your right, hovering over the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hover here for a moment. Now, here's a fun move. So circle the arm back. You're gonna extend your right arm more towards the side and left arm is gonna reach over your ear. Run into the wall. <laughs> now we're getting a side body stretch, so moving the spine and again, another direction. And exhale, back to center. Wave the spine long, extending tall through the crown of the head. This time, right arm extends towards the sky. So twisting your chest open to the right. Exhale, thread the arm under your left, hovering just above the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Now for the fun move, inhale, lift up. Circle the arm back, sit back just a little so that you can move the left hand just to the side. And extend, reach the right arm past your ear. Getting a side body stretch. And exhale. Back to center, very nice. You need that cat cow again. Now from here, Gonna do a really fun move. We have to come all the way to the earth to do it. So I'm making your way to a comfortable position on the mat. We're gonna do a parachuter move uh, to help strengthen all of our uh, spinal muscles here. So you can, we're gonna break it down into sections and then we'll do a few of them together. And of course you can hit pause and do more if you'd like. So to start, you're gonna have your hands underneath your forehead, just resting your forehead on your hands so you've got bent elbows. And from here, you're gonna lift up. So arms and legs lift. You've got legs about hip bone distance apart to start. And from here, open your legs wide and open your arms, but reach them behind you. So now we're really lifting in and up through our core, really strengthen your back muscles, then come back to center and then back to the mat. Basically four stages, but really good for your spine. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, extend. Think about your like you're flying like a parachuter. Back to center, back to the mat. Up. Really building a lot of strength here. Again, trying to counteract some of the movement of slouching and sitting all day. 
will be the last one we do together, but again, feel free to hit pause if you want. Very nice. Now from here, plant your arms firmly beneath your shoulders. Inhale, prepare long spine. Roll yourself in and up and press yourself back to child's pose. And walk yourself back up to center. Now from here, we're going to come into a forward fold and that does help release your spine. Plus a lot of back tension can come from tight hamstrings. So we're gonna loosen those up just a little bit. So come onto your toes. Uh, you can get there a different way if that's better for you, but make your way onto your feet with really bent knees. Wave your spine long, forward fold over your legs. And then start extending your legs to their capacity. Coming into this forward fold, you can wave side to side. Start getting some movement and flow in your legs. You can even bend one knee and have the other leg straighter and kind of twist. Doing a little bit more spinal movement, but also starting to get into the IT band. Just waking up. Get some energy flow in those legs. back to center. From here, bend your knees deeply. You're going to lift yourself, just rolling up one vertebra at a time. Coming to stand. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Hands come to heart center. Namaste. We're going to do one last move. So take your hands behind you. I want you to rotate your palms so they face away from you. Then interlace your hands and extend your arms. Reach your uh, knuckles down towards the earth and then from here you can stay here or you can take a little bit more of a challenge and bend your knees really deeply come into that forward fold again now you're if you're in the forward fold you're stretching your legs opening up your hamstrings as well as Getting into your chest again and really opening up any tension in your shoulders. And if you want to try this move but grasping your fingers is too much, you can get a towel or something as well and just hold it like that. Um, that will give you the same stretch if gripping like this is just a little too intense. Absolutely feel free to do that. And whenever you're ready, gently release your hands. Bend your knees again. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, start to roll yourself up. This time, take it really slowly. You can even stop along the way and inhale again. If you find an area of tension, breathe into it and exhale. Rolling up again. Feel free to take as many stops to stretch as you like. Inhale, reach all the way up big total body like morning stretch reaching to the sky you can even take a cactus arm here get a mini back bend and exhale hands come to heart center in namaste i hope that you enjoyed that respawn your spine flow hope you're feeling that you got some stretch and some strength happening and of course you can go back to sitting and video gaming you know whatever you have going on the rest of the day but hopefully you have that strength and that stretch to help keep this open and help keep you more aligned and keep away any tension that you might build from sitting. We do it at desks, at TV, when we're in our cars, so we sit a lot, so it's really good to open that back up and keep us from being hunched over all the time. So I hope you enjoyed that flow. I definitely want to see you on the mat again, so make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. A little button right there. That way you get notifications when all the new videos come up as well as make sure you get on the League of Nerdy Yogi email list because I have exclusive content waiting for you there. Namaste.